so here what happened so we are starting the sum over we are discussing about the sum overview steps here what exactly happens in the sum screen starting of the upgrade to ending of the upgrade what exactly happens in the sum screen so that is what we are going to discuss here as part of this one we can see the sap this is our sap original system this black colors is everything is in the sap original system here this is the database this is the original repository this is the application table so this is the entire database here so what is exactly happening here in the sum screen we have the sum phases here extraction configuration checks phase so these three phases nothing will happen into the our main system here so in the extraction phase all the it will validate the xml file it will scan the your current packages and it will extract the packages to the eps in directory here right then configuration phase it will check the configuration of the parameters uptime how many parameters downtime how many parameters then spdd spau transports then cts plus transports then missing note implementations or anything so those things will check in the configuration phase itself here in the checks phase it will check the all the so space db checks space checks any old failed update records mcx queues any failed entries unrelated transports inactive objects all those things it will clarify it will check into the in the checks phase here it will check into the checks phase here so pre processing phase pre processing phase here in the pre processing phase here so pre processing phase here so what will happen in the pre processing phase here so processing the so it, this is the main phase here in the pre processing phase so exactly in the pre processing phase what will happen whatever the scenario selection you have done single system standard advanced whatever the selection criteria we have it will check the it will check it will check it out it will cross check call the it will it will check whatever the scenario is selected if it is a single it will not create any shadow system here if it is the standard and advanced it will create the shadow repository compared to the your main repository it will create the shd repository it will create it here then what will happen then it will create the shadow instance as well it will create the shadow instance as well here so compared to the original instance it will create the shadow instance will be created here so that means shd kernel will be created here right shadow instance the shadow kernel will be created here so then then what will happen it will it will connect to the your repository it will connect to the this repository here it will connect to the this repository repository and the shadow kernel here right so now what you thought is here now what is thought is here uh so what you thought is here so here due to so this repository this is the shadow same as like original it will create the shadow repository then shadow instance will be created then this will happen everything will happen in the pre processing phase itself only here then your original system original repository will be locked that's why we will get the one phase like do you want to lock the your development repository development workbench development system so which means while before copying the data why because initially it's created the shadow repository shadow kernel is created but it's a empty it's a empty data here there is no data so then what will happen so in one of the phase in the pre processing it will copy the data from the original repository to shadow repository the data will be copied here so the data will be copied here the original repository to shadow repository the data will be copied to the in this repository here then shadow kernel will be builded here right so here this will happen so what will happen in the pre processing phase it will create the shadow repository shadow instance will be created the development system will be locked here then data will be copied from the original repository to the original repository to then shadow repository the data will be copied to the here once the data copied here 
then some tool will connect to the this system some tool will connect to the shadow repository shadow will be started then shadow will be upgraded so up to here data will be copied to the here everything is okay then then in one phase in the p processing your shadow will be upgraded to the latest patch levels latest patch levels here after copying after cloning the data from original to shadow then some will be upgraded some will update the your shadow instance this will be the yest version it will be upgraded here so till then your main version till pre processing phase your main system will be up and running and the business users can do the transactions in the main system and everything is good right it will not impact any another systems and everything here so then shadow can <coughs> then this once this is upgraded then system that is the end of the pre processing entire pre processing your shadow creation shadow upgrade and all this will happen then and end of the pre processing we have to do the spdd phase spdd means data dictionary objects data dictionary objects adjustments so adjustments and modification adjustments we have to do it in the shadow system this will be done by the this will be done by the your developers spdd by your developers here here you need to inform to the developers to log into the so log into the triple zero then shadow system then they will log into the triple zero shadow system they will do the all kind of data dictionary objects adjustments here right this is what they have to do it in the here then once they done it here then system ready for the downtime phase here up to here we have the uptime activities up to pre processing we have the uptime activities then then the system after that it will go to the execution phase execution pre processing and execution in the execution phase what will happen so why because here shadow upgraded we logged into the we have checked the, all the patch level everything is okay developers also perform the modification adjustments they have done it then in the execution phase what will happen your main system will be stopped here your main system will be stopped here main system will be stopped here why because during the downtime phase what will happen all the data will be copied back to the your original system again why because this is upgraded data then it will copy it to the here then application tables will be converted here application tables will be converted so while doing this activity your main system main sap system should be down so that is the reason execution phase is called the downtime phase here in this phase your actual sap system will be stopped here in this phase your actual sap system will be stopped here in the execution phase here so here our sap system some will ask before going pre processing to execution some will ask the so do you want to continue with the downtime yes then we have to take the full db backup some tool backup we have to take it out then proceed with the execution phase in the execution phase what will happen your original sap system will be stopped then data copy will happen from this this to repository to here and application tables will be updated here only these two actions will happen in the downtime phase right only downtime phase here so why because everything is happening in the shadow system only so there is no not much that much of downtime here only data copy then application tables will be updated here this will take very less time only 2 hours 3 hours only so we have the 2 hours downtime for the sap system here that's what the downtime if you want to minimize the more downtime then we can need to increase the process then fastly it will copy the data then all the fastly application tables will be upgraded application tables will be upgraded so then once the downtime is done we have the post processing activities post processing activities here post processing activities here in the post processing after this we have that will happen here we need to perform the so not we here same again developer he will perform the spau activity that is called the spau on main system spau on the main system will have to happen that is the repository adjustments this is the data dictionary adjustments this is the repository adjustments here tables so reports so repositories repository objects all will be they will adjust it here so that is on the main system we have to do 
after the upgrade after the upgrade after the upgrade we have so 14 days time so in the 14 days time 14 days time so we can do we can do the spau here but this is the immediately you have to perform the spdd immediately you have to perform in the shadow before you go for the execution so spdd you have to perform sir what happens if you don't perform the spdd means your changes your development change your customization changes will be lost your customization custom changes will last here custom changes will be lost here so that's why we need to make sure we need to make sure so spau spdd spau we have to progress it here post processing activities here right so extraction configuration checks pre-processing execution post processing here the post processing means after the execution is done downtime will be completed system is slightly available in the post processing activity system is available in the post processing activity here so so the in the post processing is completed there they will perform the in the main system will be up then shadow will be deleted this will be deleted in the post processing shadow why because once the data copy there is no use of the shadow system it will be deleted then the team will perform the spao updates they will perform it here so this is about the entire some screen what exactly happens in the each and every phase means here so up to this phase is fine pre-processing shadow will be created shadow will be upgraded data will be copied to the shadow then shadow will be upgraded then once it is going to the execution that is called the downtime phase so that's why people will run extraction to pre-processing they will run it in the uptime during the business hours weekdays they can run it execution phase they will run it in the so non-business hours means non-weekends weekends they will go for that one why because weekends there is no not much busy not much weekends there is no not much business here so that's the reason so not much business on the weekends so that is the reason so they will stop the year when you go for the execution phase the main system will be stopped here the main system will be stopped here then data will be copied to the main system from original shadow to original original to sorry shadow to original it will be copied then tables will be upgraded here these two things will happen in the entire upgrade entire upgrade these two things will happen in the systems here right that is what it will happen here here the main important thing you need to remember is here the logs file sap up dot log file is very important so suppose if you're going for interviews then sap up dot log file is very important it will track the update log files and everything then one more in card port number for the sum tool double one two eight or two nine that is the port number then some version when to use the some version when when the when we have to perform the spdd in the shadow system in the and the, the after the end of the pay processing we need to during the end of the pay processing we have to create we have to do the so spdd activities when we have to perform the spau activities in the original system we have to perform the the original system we have to perform the this spau activities we have to perform it here right so that is the thing we need to do it in the systems here sp au activities spdd in the shadow system we have to create it here right this is the thing we need to do it in the systems okay that is the one so one more thing is here one more thing is here uh yeah these roadmap steps are very important in which phase downtime starts execution in which phase shadow system will be upgraded pre-processing phase when the shadow system will be deleted post processing step in which phase your main system will be down your execution phase so right question slight questions here so so these are the things you need to remember as for your experience what is the some version you have used it here some 2.0 sp19 right so then uh yeah these are the things you have to do spdd when you have to perform and which system spdd we have to perform in the main system may not the main system original system we have to perform it shadow system then immediately we have to perform before going but spau original system you have the 14 days time frame within 40 days you can perform the spau activities okay so that is what will happen in the entire sum processing here end to end how to start the sum tool, how to calculate the XML file, those things we discussed with, right? That is the very important thing here. Got it?
Any questions, anyone? How many process can be increased for this uh, downtime increase, uh, decreasing? Decreasing the? How many work process we can be increased? Depends. Or is there any limit? Uh, yeah, there is a limitation. Depends upon the your CPU cores. Suppose the work during the configuration phase, you are giving the parameters uptime, this many parameters, downtime, this many parameters, right? So there is a above process. It depends on the how many process you have in the SAP system. If you go to the SM50, you will come to know how many dialogues, how many background. So then remaining process, SQL process, then R3 load process, then R3 load process, then R3 trans process. This will have to give it based upon the number of your CPU cores here. Suppose if you go to the task manager, it will clearly show you the how many CPUs we have here, right? How many CPU cores we have? 10 CPU cores we have. So then, so uh, based on that, we can provide the so details here. 3 into number of CPUs, 5, five times of number of CPUs here. So like this, we have to allocate the R3 load process, R3 trans process. So this process, we can increase it. So it depends, depends upon the your current CPU utilization here. So one more thing is here, if you go to the utility, some utilities, some utilities here. Suppose you are given the wrong, if you want to increase it, go to the sum utilities, then here also we can change the parameters, 8 to 9 or 8 to 10. So like that also, we can change it here. So it depends, it depends upon the, so your uptime and downtime parameters, we can check it out here, right? Here also we can increase it. Sir, I have configuration phases already, we have done it already, configuration phase. So now, how can I increase it now? Go to the sum utilities, then some parameter, here we can adjust the uptime, how many process and downtime, how many process we can take it out here. So that is what we can, we can do that one. Suppose up to P processing, we can do the reset. Reset means anytime we can just go back and uh, so change the, delete the all the data and everything we can delete it. So when the downtime is in progress, when the execution phase is in progress, then we cannot do the reset. Only DB restore is we have to do it. So that is the reason when it is going to the DB restore, we have to take the full database backup, we have to take it out, then we have to proceed further. So here, only thing is the reset. Resetting is the one important thing here. Up to P processing, extraction to P processing, we can do the reset. Apart from that, so we cannot do the so reset options here. Okay, so that is the thing we, we should we should have to consider here, a reset option here, up to here we can do the reset option. Okay. Any questions, anyone? Main important points, whatever I discussed now, those are the very important for the here. How many types of, how many roadmap steps, which phase shadow will be created, in which phase so your main system will be down. So where the uh, where the shadow will be created, shadow start on, where the SPDD we have to perform, shadow system tribute to the client. So then where when which system we have to perform the SPAU, who will perform the SPDD, SPAU? Your developer will perform the SPDD, SPAU. What exactly happened? Your system will be upgraded to the, the latest patch levels and everything, your system will be upgraded. How to check the log files? If you go to the some utilities, the log file, here we can check the some SAP UP dot log file. You can check it out here. So same log files are available under the OS level as well. If you go to the CD, so USR, so SAP, USR, SAP, so then SID, some above and log folder. Here log folder, there is a some log files are available. So same, same whatever the log files you are showing, same log files are here OS level. We can see it here in this directory here, right? In this directory. We can see it here, SAP UP dot log file pages dot all the log files are there here, right? So that is the sum. So the, here it is the configuration, some of the DLL files are available here. That much of information not required, but so here log file is very important. Okay, so that is about the SAP upgrade.